Hey guys, it's Lauren, but my friends call me Lo. Today, we are going to look at the three things that will give you a foolproof look in no time. So, when you are styling yourself for the day, there are three things that become major factors. One is your hair, two is your makeup, and three, obviously, is your outfit. Now, I've come up with a theory that as long as you have two of these three things, you can make your look foolproof. These things are great to keep in mind when you're getting ready and you're short on time or just not in the mood to get to get all the way ready. So let's hop right in. We're gonna start off with a clean slate and look to see what it looks like with no hair, no makeup, and no cute outfit. Let's go. Option number one, none of the above. As you can see, this is not the most flattering look. I have a hoodie on, hair is no makeup, I look like I'm sick, and that's fine. If you don't feel like doing any makeup, you don't owe anyone anything. So you can dress how you want and look like you want. Always remember that. I'm just here to tell you if you want to do a couple things to just bump yourself up a little bit, then here we go. So we wanted to start with a clean slate. Here we go. So let's move on and see our other three options. We're gonna go through what it looks like when you just have hair and makeup and kind of slack on your outfit. If you want to slack on your hair, what it looks like to focus on your makeup and outfit. And then we're also going to do one with um, outfit, makeup, hair, and hair and outfit. We're going to go through those three options, give some examples, talk about why it's important, how you can switch it up, and hopefully this is just some easy tips for you all to follow. Um, if you're running late, if you just don't feel like trying, or um, you just don't want to be too over the top. I hope you guys enjoy this. It might be a little silly, but hopefully we can learn something and have a little fun. Okay guys, so the first option that we are going to test out is hair and outfit. As you can see, I am not wearing any makeup aside from a little bit of mascara, which you probably can't tell, and some chapstick. Um, just throwing on some mascara and chapstick, it'll open your eyes up a little bit, uh, make you look like your eyes aren't in the back of your head like mine do most of the time, and um, it is fall, winter, so your lips are going to get chapped pretty easily. So just put some chapstick on it, give it a little sheen, moisturize them up a little bit, a little mascara to open your eyes, and you should be good to go. I know a lot of us aren't the most secure about our skin. I clearly have blemishes, but some days I just don't feel like putting on makeup or I don't have time. So putting on a cute outfit is something fast that you can do. Picking out an outfit should be the fastest part of your getting ready routine. Um, makeup takes a long time and hair can be simple too, although it can take a long time. I had my hair in braids yesterday, so it wasn't very hard for me to do something with it. I literally just pinned it halfway back with some bobby pins. But we are going to go through some clips and explore some different casual, easy outfits you can throw together and some different hairdos to go with it um, if you're running late or just feeling a little lazy that day getting ready. So, hope you enjoy. All right, so this first look is just a simple flannel and a denim skirt. Flannel is from Old Navy, should still be there. The skirt is from Forever 21, not sure about that. I just take this, knot it, like twist it up twice in the front, tuck it in the front, billow it out. This gives it a little shape, gives it a little bit of an extra umph. Um, like I said, my hair, I just took two pieces, pinned them back with bobby pins, and left it wavy. And that's pretty simple, I was out the door. The next look really focuses on hair. I just took my hair, threw it um, a little bit to the side. I'm gonna do a side fringe braid. It just kinda goes around the back of my head and over to one side. So I just take three pieces, I start fringe braiding uh, diagonally down the side. This outfit, I mostly just put a basic t-shirt together and layered some of my necklaces. This is very uncommitted. It's very easy um, and simple to do. Just like I said, layer on a choker and a matching necklace and you're good to go. Uh, now this is the final result of my hair. It's not too hard if you already know how to French braid. If you all want a tutorial on how to French braid, let me know below. Okay guys, the next combination we are going to explore is hair and makeup and lack on the outfit a little bit. So I threw on an oversized t-shirt and some leggings. I just took my crimpy hair, 
threw some curls in it with uh, my one inch curling iron just kind of randomly. You can see it's still kind of crimpy and curly. Um, threw some dry shampoo in it to give it a little volume and um, did some basic makeup. When you all are doing this and you want to wear something super comfy and casual like an oversized t-shirt and leggings, um, there are definitely levels of makeup that, and hair that you want to do. You want to match the level that you're going for if that makes any sense. Like yes, I know that I still curled my hair, but it's not like they're ringlet curls and I'm not going to go on and do a ton of contour and a big bold lip and I smoky eye for a Budweiser t-shirt. I would suggest um, just kind of like I put a like transition shade on my eyes and just threw on a nude lipstick so it was kind of neutral, wasn't too over the top, and kind of went with the vibe that I was going for. So this is look number one. We'll go in and just look at a couple more casual outfits and um, how you can Pull them off with your hair and makeup and make them look a little bit cuter than if you just threw on a regular old top knot and no makeup going back to the first scene where I looked like I was dying of strep throat. So let's move on to some examples. All right, so this first look is pretty basic, obviously. Like I said, it is just an oversized t-shirt and some leggings. Doing your hair up a little bit kind of helps bring you up. Like I said, just a simple makeup look will do. This next look, I threw my hair up in a top knot. Again, very simple, very uncommitted. It's just a little bit better than a basic top knot. This sweatshirt is uh, just from when I studied abroad in Florence. It's their soccer team. I cut off the end of it just to kind of make it a slight crop and wore uh, my leggings a little bit high-waisted to balance that out. And the last look is my Taylor Swift t-shirt and uh, just left my hair in a top knot. To help with the t-shirt, just do that little twist trick that I showed you with the flannel and tuck it in the front. You can also add a belt and there you go. Kind of dresses it up a little bit. And y'all already know T-Swift is my girl for life. <laughs> Okay guys, and last but not least, the last option we have is hair, no. The last option we're gonna talk about is makeup and outfit. Now this is the one that I usually default, like if I'm running low on time, I always skip out on my hair and I just throw it up in a bun or let it air dry and my hair air dry is not cute, but I almost always do my makeup because um, I do have pretty bad skin. I have a lot, well, I won't say I have a lot of acne, but I have suffered from acne for as long as I've been in middle school. So um, I'm just really used to always doing my makeup. I don't always like to do it, but that's usually my go-to. If I don't have time for hair and makeup, I will almost always choose makeup. This option is especially great if you have a job where you have to be there early in the morning or if you are often running behind. Just throw your hair up in a bun in a ponytail, whatever, let it air dry, let it be wavy, and um, just do your makeup, wear your outfit, and it should work out pretty well. So here are some other examples of dressing up your outfit and your face and kind of lacking on your hair. Okay, so this first example is great for my girls in the workplace. I got this silk blouse and these light khaki uh, dress slacks from H&M. The shirt was on sale for $15. We all love that. Just threw my hair in a simple bun and was on my way. My makeup, I just kept pretty neutral. Uh, some browns and orange tones. This next look I was obviously going for a little bit edgier. The leather jacket and choker dress are both from Express. I put my hair in a high ponytail which is always going to dress it up instantly and I just changed my lip to a matte Kat Von D liquid lipstick to match the dress. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed those examples. I hope that you learned something and now when you're short on time, you won't have to freak out. You can just throw your hair in a top knot, put on some makeup, throw on a bold lip and you're good to go. If you don't have any cute clothes clean, just do your hair and makeup up and you will look more polished. Thank you guys again for watching. Be sure to subscribe below and hit the little bell button so you are notified when I upload videos. And follow me on all of my social media. It will be listed right here. 
feel free to follow. I also have a blog. It is ebbandlow.com. It is E-B-B-A-N-D-L-O.com. I just kind of go on there, share my thoughts. There will be some style tips. It's mostly lifestyle. It's kind of just a conglomeration of what's going on in my mind. So feel free to check that out as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.